So, Mr. Rishi Sunak is the new uh, Prime Minister of uh, un the United Kingdom. Uh, but much has been spoken about his India connection. But today we are going to speak about his Bangalore connection, uh, some masala dosa, some rava vade, and some kesari bhat, which Mr. Rishi Sunak is apparently very, very fond of whenever he visits Kol uh, Bangalore. And where his in-laws live, he's the son-in-law of Mr. Narayan Murthy, as now everybody knows. Uh, I'm joined, this is Aman Sharma from CNN News 18. And today I'm joined by Rohini Swami, associate editor with us at CNNNews18.com. Uh, welcome to First Post, Reporters Post, our weekly offering. And Rohini, today we are discussing Mr. Rishi Sunak's Bangalore connection. So what is Mr. Rishi Sunak fond of in Bangalore? Please enlighten our viewers. Well, it's so nice to talk about something different where we talk about masala dosa, we talk about, and that too, dripping with absolutely pure ghee and uh, filled with rava vade and kesri bhat. Kesri bhat, uh, for our viewers, if I want, if I, all these three actually, but kesri bhat specifically is what is called a sweet halwa, which is made out of rava, and which most people have it, but it's something which is very, uh, it's eaten also a lot uh, down south here. But yes, these are three things that he absolutely enjoyed in this uh, outlet called Vidyarthi Bhavan. Now, Vidyarthi Bhavan is an iconic place, uh, though it was started in the 1930s. Uh, over the years, and Vidyarthi Bhavan, let me tell you, means student's house, right? But over the years, it has turned out to be a place where people casually come and sit, talk about anything and everything, politics, uh, actors come in, you have politicians coming in, you have entrepreneurs coming in, you have corporate honchos coming in. And that is why the link between food Bangalore, Narayan Murthy and Rishi Sunak is apart from the fact that he is married to Akshita Murthy, who is Narayan Murthy's daughter, has been his the, his love for food, especially sweets. He's time and again spoken about his sweet tooth. But uh, let me tell you that when I did speak to the owner of Vidyarthi Bhavan, he told me about this particular uh, photo that he clicked with the permission of Rishi Sunak at the time, not knowing, mm -hmm. and trust me, nobody actually even asked. Most of us didn't realize this, but didn't know that uh, Rishi Sunak would one day become the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. But today, and but when he he told me that three months ago, when the whole discussion was happening about uh, between Liz Truss and the race was between Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak, he had kept his photo ready because uh, he he usually takes pictures from memories. He has several such photographs. Arun. Uh, um, uh, who is the owner of Vidyarthi Bhavan. And then he talked about how in 2019, uh, Rishi Sunak, along with his family, that is Akshata Murthy, two daughters, Mr. Narayan Murthy and uh, Madam Sudha Murthy, they landed up there because uh, whoever comes and uh, to Bangalore, it is compulsory. And I'm sure, Aman, you have been also been taken to Vidyarthi Bhavan. It, it's compulsory that you do a round of Vidyarthi Bhavan and have the masala dosa there because it's out of the world. Now, just talking about this makes us hungry. But at the same time, uh, it's also about the deep connect. The connect is more than just about being the son-in-law or you call Alia here in Bangalore, in Canada, uh, of uh, of Bangalore. But it is more deep with him, fi uh, with uh, Rishi Sunak finding inspiration from Narayan Murthy. And so uh, uh, that is another connect that we've seen. And he, through his uh, campaign as well, has talked about how Narayan Murthy has been a, 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 a pillar of uh, support for him, especially when he said that he wanted to move in from uh, to into active politics. And, uh, you know, there was an interesting... Quite interesting because you know uh, this relationship between both the families, you know, Mr. Rishi Sunak and Narayan Murthy's family, uh, is seen as to be very close and very cordial. And you know, as you correctly say, that it's also that uh, Narayan Murthy uh, actually supporting his son-in-laws when he entered into politics. You know, Narayan Murthy himself has been a entrepreneur and a corporate all his life, but to see his son-in-law was also a corporate in a way. You know, worked at a private job in the U.S. and everywhere else joining politics you know usually indian father in laws rohini would desist somebody <laughs> from doing this from going into politics from a great corporate job but this was not the case in the murthy family certainly as you have written in the story Absolutely today Absolutely not rather uh, uh, he keeps and this uh, this he has been saying in several interviews that uh, mr mr murthy has even landed up at every single campaign that he has taken up and there was one time uh, when he uh, was um, campaigning for a seat and Mr. Murthy landed there and he was given a bunch of pamphlets and said, please distribute this. You know, a, a, a man who has, who is the co-founder of Infosys, who has been employing several people as well, and a man who has made a name for himself globally, starting from humble beginnings all the way up, suddenly thrust a set of papers and said, please go campaign. He was told what to do. A change of road for a change, right? From what, what he usually tells people to do. So 
th- th- these are small in uh, these are small snippets of his life apart from that he also talks about how this narayan murthy has advised him to always ensure that you know they he stay focused even in his tweet if you see aman uh, it's very clear he says i'm sure he'll make a difference uh, to the united kingdom though it's not going to be a, a easy ride for uh, for mr sunak because he is getting right into the uh, in, into the heart of when the, the entire uk economy is right now quite unstable he has many balls to juggle at the time uh, but yes makes us makes us very very proud for the connection but i'm always 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 enthused with the fact that anything happens in the world good or bad but raj the good in this particular case that we always have a bangalore connection and that's something that really really makes my heart you know quite quite happy but uh, coming back to the inspiration part especially of infosys because uh, there was a time when if you remember uh the, the 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 when when the campaign for the uk prime minister was uh, taking place uh mr sunak was in the in in in, in the in, in in the middle of a lot of crossfire especially when it came to akshita murthy and her uh, tax uh, uh, yeah, uh the way, way, tax the story, well. uh, rishi sunak and akshita have quite a very oh story you know meeting oh, yes. this, <laughs> then getting yes. married When this uh, blip came you know, when this controversy emerged in the UK a few months back over Akshita's uh, tax proceeds and you know that she need to pay tax in the UK. Uh, the, the family also handled that very very maturely in a way. it was handled in such a beautiful way yes like the the affair also when when it came to the stanford affair as it's being called right now where both akshita and rishi sunak met akshita took her time to finally decide whether he's the right man or not so clearly they have found that they have their wavelength matched but more importantly it's a beautiful beautiful relationship it's a beautiful family relationship it's a beautiful political relationship as well political i say because the way rishi sunak stood by his a family his wife's family and extended family as such because he i remember him saying this and he said that in several debates i i am very respectful and i i really look at the fact that they have risen from humble beginnings all the way up to build something called infosys which today employs people across the world even in the uk and i'm quoting rishi sunak here and he also talks about how akshita actually did not declare her taxes back in the uk because she's proud to be an indian they want to keep that indian link going and we see in every single picture if you notice how rishi sunak even the fa- his family as well and the murthy family as well they have ensured that they keep their indian roots and their identity even when they meet uh, i mean the classic picture right of putting diyas at 10 downing street and always doing a namaste wherever they go or you know pictures at iscon or other places as well very clearly shows that they want to keep those roots uh, grounded the uh, and 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 i'm pretty sure that the bangalore roots also will keep flowering every every single time but uh, this this uh, the whole connection is more more than masala dosa more than infosys it is a connection between two families and a bond that i think everybody should actually try to emulate this the standing by uh, one's partner and the other way around also if you notice uh, there was another picture right there's another controversy she got into when she was serving tea hot tea with biscuits right with the lema lacy mugs and uh, though yes. it was it's a, it's a very indian tradition it's nothing that we were trying they were trying anything to appease the media where you actually offer tea or water to people who come to your home now if they're standing outside their home you're seeing them standing in the sun it's a very obvious thing that we do it's nothing new for us and she did it in her way well whatever it be that turned out to be another controversy the where the emma lacy uh, mugs became controversial the 38 pound emma lacy mugs in which the tea was served became a point and you know the british media is very very unsparing on these the tabloids yeah. especially in uk are very unsparing well which uh, is rishi sunak i think about roenius correctly put out you know hindi the uh, point of rishi sunak placing these diyas outside 10 downing street always being upfront about his asian about his hindu identity saying that yes i am a hindu uh, which is also being you know uh, many english tabloids are now relating it to mr rishi sunak taking over on diwali uh, in a way all these things you know uh, foster may have good hope for good close uk india relations as well uh, with prime minister narendra modi and you know always stressing on warm personal relationship with premiers of other countries in the days to come but definitely i think mr rishi sunak might also take a leaf from mr narayan murthy's book when it comes to now handling the top and the pressing issues of uh, UK politics like inflation and the rising cost of living there. I think Mr. Shishrak has his hands full, but he definitely has some inspiration to take from Bangalore on this count. Thank you, thank you so much, viewers, for joining us on Reporters Post today at First Post, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel on First Post. Thank you, Roini. Thank you.
Thank you so much, Evan. Thank you.